Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. The boy done switched up on you. Come it like a cherry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel or you haven't decided to subscribe yet, run over and subscribe for us. And then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips family. Now, now that you're part of the family, that's just something that we do. That thing is comment, 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 like, share, and go for the team. Comment, like, share, and go for the team. Comment, like, share, and don't forget to comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Don't forget to comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment, like, share. Okay, you guys, we're gonna pray and get right into the food. Here we go. Amen. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help me out because we finna get down once again. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, today for the food, we have fried fish. This is fried tilapia. We have spaghetti, but it's made with the zucchini spiral noodles. Cheesy. We have a treat right here. This is homemade tartar sauce. I'm gonna tell you how to make it here in just a minute. Of course, we got the jalapenos and this other sub right here ain't number but decoration. Let's get it. Y'all look at that. That's some of the homemade tartar sauce on the end of that jalapeno, baby. Mmm. So how y'all doing today? Y'all know I love making this spaghetti with the, oh, the zucchini spiral noodles. Here, get you some of it. You see it? Baby, it is good. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, it's good. It's good. Mmm. Now, let me get into some of this fish. You guys, this is homemade tartar sauce. Ugh. I'm gonna put it on this fish here, honey. And then we're gonna get some of this little hot sauce. Y'all know I had over there on the side, right? Mm. Y'all know I had over there on the side, right? Mm. And there's your first bite of fish. Can you see it? Baby! Mmm. 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 <laughs> Get y'all see that. Don't say nothing about it, okay? Don't say nothing. We're gonna act like it didn't happen. <laughs> so how are y'all doing today? And what did y'all have to eat today? What y'all eat today? Y'all been asking me to eat fish, a fried fish for so long. But I decided today I was gonna do it. So I made me some homemade tartar sauce. Mmm. So let me tell you how to make the tartar sauce. You use mayonnaise, you use real pickles, real pickles. Chop them up however thick and chunky that you want them. I use red onion, but you can use white. 
it doesn't matter. You use lemon juice, dill, pepper, and just a wee, 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 wee little sprinkle of salt. That's how you make homemade tartar sauce. Now, it's easy to mess up now. I'm going to tell you that right off. It's easy to mess up. You have another piece of this? I said another piece. You want another bite? There you go. Mmm. I love making the spaghetti with the spiral zucchini noodles. It's just a healthier choice than the pasta. And it's really, really good. It's really yummy. Really, really yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all's good. Mmm. Mm. You guys, this is the month of October. The month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness. <clears throat> so we definitely want to bring up and tell you guys to make sure that you can your yearly checkups. You ladies. And making sure we stay on top of eradicating. I don't know if that's the right. No, eradicating this. Uh, cancer. As much as we can, early detection on anything is better. So make sure you're getting your checkups. When doing what the doctor tell you, okay? Mm. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. That is diet orange drink. Mm. And so where are you guys? Is it getting cooler where you are? Or are you still in a heat wave? It's still 90 something degrees here, y'all. 90 something degrees. I think with 94 today. It's hot. There ain't another piece of the fish. And there you go with the hot sauce on it. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all is good. Oh, by the way. Mmm. Mm. Y'all forgot off in sight. I forgot off in sight. This, this food's so good. Mmm. Then I made sure I made big meatballs in it too. Today. It's cheesy. It's good. I think I showed you. Yeah, I did. Mm. Sometimes I'll be recording the video to show you. I even forgot. I cannot forget today. Y'all finna get choked out. <laughs> Y'all about to get choked out. Mm. This is good. So what did y'all have for dinner today? Were y'all able to cook where you are or was it too hot and you couldn't? Or were you just being lazy and didn't? Tell me which one it was. Or do you just got it like that and somebody else cooking for you? Because <laughs> that would be the business. That would be the whole business right there. Mmm. 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 So y'all, do y'all watch The Voice? It's back coming back on. And it is good already. They haven't even got out of the, um, you know, the blind auditions yet, but it's good already. There's one guy on there He's got kind of like a reggae feel. He's awesome. He's really awesome. So, this is what I want to talk about today. Y'all know this world that we live in right now. This country. You know, 
it's a dark place around us right now. In our communities, in our neighborhoods, in our country, just in the world, period. Mm. I'm interested in knowing, have you found your light yet? Have you found the thing in the world that makes you special and makes you shine and bring joy to other people? Have you found that thing yet? Because we all have a specific talent that we have to produce that light. Have you found what that thing is yet? Have you found it yet? I hope so. If you haven't, I hope it comes to you soon. I really do. I hope it comes to you soon. Because we all need to create light in this world of darkness. We all do. We all need to find that thing that makes us special and makes us contribute mm, to making the world a better place. Y'all, this video probably going to be short. It probably is. I done waited till late to try to record. I'm already tired. <laughs> hey! Um, I want you guys to, you guys, I want you guys to pray uh, for Sam's World's mother. Unspoken prayer request. She's not feeling well right now, and I want you guys to help me pray for her, okay? She's a very, very sweet lady. Sam's World mom, we love you, sweetheart. We love you so, 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 so much. We really, really do. And we hope that you feel better very, very soon, okay? Love you, baby. Mmm. 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 Y'all, this food is good. Mmm. Y'all, I got a surprise for y'all on Wing Wednesday this week. Okay, I got a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you on Wing Wednesday, which is tomorrow. I got a surprise. Be ready. Be ready, okay? Y'all know when I do stuff, y'all gotta be ready and cocked at the hip, baby. Ready to go on a word's notice. Well, I'm giving you notice. On Wednesday, Wednesday, Rain Wednesday, you got some work to do. Okay. Okay. Don't forget now. Don't forget. Y'all, this fish is good. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a crunch to it. It's just good. Mm. And if you've never tried your spaghetti, I love it with spiral zucchini noodles and I love it on top of cauliflower. Baby! Add you some cheese on it. And you is in there. Mmm. Y'all, believe it or not, I'm already full. Mmm. I am. I'm full. But that's why I said. I didn't know if this would be a, a really long video because I had eight early today and it was good. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I had. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what I had now. Cause it was good. It really was. Um, so, back to what we were talking about. Have you found that light in yourself and the way that you're supposed to use it to let it out into the world, to make the world a better place. Have you found that yet? I had to ask a question again before we talk about it. And the reason why I'm asking you that is because, like I said a while ago, you guys, we all have it. Each and every one of us. There is a specific, specific purpose that we're here for. 
a specific purpose. It takes some people longer than others to find that purpose, but you do have one. You have one. If you're still here, you have a purpose. There's work here that you have to do before you leave here. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> hey! Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, this is good. This is good. And y'all been asking me to eat fish for a minute. Another thing I want to talk to y'all about. I think I'm rambling. But this stuff is coming to my head. And I feel like it's important for you to know. Have you ever had someone that was around you, that was in your circle, aura, whatever you want to say, and they were a giver? Like, every time you turn around, they're giving to people. Not necessarily the same specific person, but they just give, give, give. And you know, sometimes a person, you can be all right. You know, you're straight, but they constantly give, give, give to you. I want to tell you something. Some people would say, you know, they'll go to people and they'll say, no, I'll keep this, you know, don't give me this. Don't do this for me. I'm okay. I'm good. I want to tell you something. Don't stop that person's blessings. <laughs> hey, don't stop their blessings, y'all. Because let me tell you something. People give to other people. Sometimes that is the way a person tithes. You do know that when the Bible says pay your tithes and offering." That don't mean you have to pay your tithes to a church. That don't mean you have to do that. You can tie it to a person. Okay? As long as you give it freely from your heart and you give it to benefit others from your heart and not looking for anything in return, that is a tithing. You're tithing. Um, and for a person that, that is like that, that could be their purpose. You never know. You never know what situation that God put them in to be able to do what they're doing. And sometimes when you don't accept gifts and things that people give to you, you'll block their blessing. Don't block their blessing, y'all. I mean, I understand making sure that they understand that this may not be a need at the moment. Mm. And this is coming from a person that I really do for me and myself that I would ever let you, that I would ever want you to, put it that way. If God gives me the strength to be the lender and not the borrower, I'm on the better end. Regardless of how you look at it, regardless of how you say it, as long as I'm the lender and I'm not the borrower, I'm in a better situation. And I trust God to keep me there. I did want to tell y'all that because not accepting things that people offer or give to you freely from their heart, you could block their blessing like that. An old lady told me that one time and told me, no, nah, baby, don't block my blessing. Don't block my blessing. And so you guys need to think about that because I know a lot of us are very, very kind hearted and we're very independent and we always want to do for ourselves. I'm that way as well. Like I said, I would much rather do for me than to allow you to. But I do understand that that is the way, and that is some, you know, God has people here that that's what they're here for. They're givers. They're just givers. And they do so freely from their heart. So be careful with that. And don't block somebody's blessing now, honey. Don't do it. Don't. I cannot let you blindly block somebody's blessing because that's their blessing. And if that's their intention and what God put them in your life for, you have to gratefully and humbly accept that. You do. Ah, big Ben is nice and refreshing, y'all. So, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all, this food was good. It was. I had three pieces of fish. And a big old helping of spaghetti. It was good. It was real good. So remember, you guys, don't block people's blessings. Because God put us all here for a reason. 
And with that being said, make sure you tap into, ask God, ask him to show you what is your reason for being here and be able to accept it once he shows you. Because some of our reasons for being here, sometimes ain't too cute. It's not. It's really, really not. Sometimes our purpose and our light in us is to take care of battered women or to take care of children that are less fortunate in the community or to go by and see this old lady that's across the street that her family never comes to see her and you go by there and help her clean or uh, cook for and things like that. Because we all have a purpose. And believe it or not, your purpose could be just to see after that same old lady that everybody has forgotten about. Okay. Now, you guys, until this weather cools down, y'all stay cool, stay safe, stay hydrated. You know how I feel about that. I love you all. And I'm going to get up out of here. I am. Let me see if I can finish my food first. Let me see if I can finish my food first. Because this food is good. This homemade tartar sauce is banging. It's banging. Mm. I done dropped it over in the tartar sauce. Mm. And this homemade tartar sauce is banging, y'all. Did I tell you how to go in your tartar sauce recipe? You're going to put dill, D-I-L-L. -L. You're going to put that seasoning in there, too, if I didn't say it before. And I put accent in mine, and I put surround peppers in mine. But that's not a part of the recipe, okay? That's just what I do. Mmm. I got one more bite, y'all. Mmm. But I'm full, though. I'm real full. I hit already ate. I can't do it. I don't think I can do it, y'all. You got one little bite. I'm just that full. I had a full course meal earlier. Full course. I did. But anyway, I'm so glad you guys came and joined me today. Once again, because I'm gaining them every day, I want to say thank you and welcome to my new legion. I love you all. You guys, I love each and every one of you guys. And over here on the Lips channel, I have a message for you. And that is, I love me. I love you. I particularly love us. Legion. We are many. That's why our name is Legion. Legion actually means we are many. That's what it means. And there are many people in the world who want to live their lives positively. That's me and you. That's us. So thank you so much and welcome to the Legion. Okay. Now y'all make a good bite here. I want to eat that bite. But I'm full. I'm full. So I ain't gonna do it. That one bite could cause me to have a tummy ache. <laughs> hey! I don't want no tummy ache, so I'm not gonna eat it. But I am thinking about it here. Okay. You guys, make sure you're talking to God. Talk to your inner self. Find your light for the world. That's very, very important. It'll be so fulfilling for you once you do find it. If you've already found it, protect it. Not protect, but perfect your craft. Perfect your reason for being here so that you can spread that light more abundantly. All right, so I'm thinking about here for real. Big Ben says good night. <laughs> Y'all, I'm good and thirsty. I'm good and thirsty. Okay. Don't forget to pray for Sam's world's mother. Unspoken prayer request. Just pray, 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 pray. Pray hard. I'm going to be praying hard too, okay? We hope that she recovers very, very soon. Sam's World, me and the Legion, we're going to hold you down, baby. You guys, Sam World is out. Her mother is ill. So she is out. So if you guys don't mind, if you have a little time, run over there and watch a video for my girl. Y'all know I love her. You know she's my YouTube partner, okay? So if you guys would do those things for me, I appreciate you so, so, so much. Make sure you're practicing showing your light to the world. Let it shine. Let everybody see it. You should be proud of it. Because God gave it to you. And he gave it uniquely just to you. Alright, let's go. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember to spread your light throughout the world. That's what God gave it to you for. Okay? But 
on side outside of that. Y'all been messing up a lot of words today. Uh huh. I've been stumbling on my words quite a bit today. That fish was good though. That's what it was too. Anyway, let's finish this up. Am I going back to wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that when obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. If you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye-bye. That was good, y'all. Y'all, that was good. That was real, real good. But look, check this out, y'all. Real talk. I want you guys to know that you have to let your light shine because you never know who your light is specifically for to be seen. Your light could be the very light that keeps somebody from jumping off of a building or setting their house on fire or, you know, jumping off a bridge. It could be uniquely designed to where your light and your light only is the only light that that person could see. So you have to let it shine. You've got to love your light regardless of what it is. No matter what it is, it's being uh, the trash man to ride on a trash truck for 20 years. You know what I mean? Sometimes the trash man can make such a difference in a person's life. They really, really can. A person that comes to pick up trash, they have a light. And there is a purpose for them here. There's a purpose for them. You never know. The very same trash man could be the light that you would need one day. Okay? So don't be afraid to let your light shine. I applaud you all that have already found it and is doing so. And I love you guys so, so much for it. But if you haven't found it, make sure that you find it. Because someone is depending on you. It could be me. It could be me. Okay? I love you all. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.